Welcome to Sculpture Studios. Stuck in the desert, dehydrated and miles away from anywhere, one thing you might not consider drinking from would be a cactus. Here we have a nopal cactus, where the nutritious natural water inside the fruit has inspired the true nopal cactus beverage. We're working with TRO, whom we made the giant Ribena fruit with in 2015, and we're creating a giant nopal cactus leaf to promote the product. The idea of the sculpture is the cactus needs to house a drinking container with a tap on the outside that the public can sample the drink from. This is a little more than sculptural in our opinion, and not normally something we do, but we wanted to find a way that we could achieve this ourselves and complete the whole build in our studio. Blocking out from polystyrene, we're creating one giant leaf and multiple oversized nopal fruit to go round the edge. These are carved using nail and wire brushes, with the cactus master pattern being finished with a soft water-based plaster render, and the detail of the fruit themselves being carved from clay. We're using the concept images the client has sent us, and we're grabbing a few more images off the net to use as references to work from. It's always important to refer to visuals when creating something like this, as often there are details that you might overlook or miss entirely, and it helps to ensure a more authentic finish. When we're happy with all the detailing, a mould needs to be created to replicate the fruit and glass fibre, so here we're mixing some silicon rubber to pour over the pattern. This needs to be built up in multiple layers, so the mould is strong enough to handle the manipulation of the casting process. A liquid layer is applied first, so the rubber gets into all the detail, and thicker, more buttery layers are added afterwards for extra strength. The difference in colour in the rubber is just a tiny bit of pigment added, so that we can differentiate between the different layers. It looks a little bit like icing a cake, but I really wouldn't advise trying this one. The finish on the cactus master pattern is worked up by sanding back the fillers as we prepare it for mould making. We'll be creating this mould in two halves, so we start off by making a wall around the edge so that we can divide the mould in two. We then go over with a gel coat layer of resin. From here we back up the resin with layers of glass fibre, we let it set and then flip the whole pattern over and repeat the process on the other side. We make sure that we put plenty of release agents on the pattern underneath before any resin goes on top so that it's easier to extract the polystyrene from the inside of the mould afterwards. Once the glass fibre and the resin is set and the pattern's been taken out, the inside of the mould is cleaned up and we repeat the glass fibre process, but this time on the interior. A release agent first, followed by a gel coat, and then multiple layers of glass fibre for a strong build up. The fruit are also going to be made from fiberglass, and so the same method is applied to cast the fruit from the rubber. You can see here that we've given each rubber mould a fiberglass jacket, so they retain the correct shape when casting. With the two halves of the cactus extracted from the mould, all of the fluffy fibreglass edges are trimmed off, and the two parts are laminated together from the inside. We've cut a large section out of the top of the sculpture so that we can install the waterworks, and this doubles up as easy access to laminate the inside of the shape together. Most variety of cacti are spiky, and the nopal cactus is no exception. Here we're creating a visually effective, but more importantly a safe material to create the spikes from. We're using a fake grass that we installed on a previous project, and we're dipping the blades in black latex. This way they're thin enough to represent the cactus spikes, but soft and pliable enough so that nobody's going to be losing an eye anytime soon if they get too close. Bro, 
right here we join Aiden after a couple of leaky experiments over the last couple of days. Bit of a nightmare, but uh, I think we've got there in the end. Yeah, we're really sculptors here, so this is a new thing to us. But we think we've got it looking really, really good now. We've got a, an ordinary water container here, which they can fill it up by using the cap up the top. Inside here, we have a connecting pipe, which we've siliconed on, and it's really, really tight, nice, good connection. And we've done experiments, so no leaks are happening here. And we've left that stuff for some time now. In there, we've got it feeding to the tap itself. No leaks there, so everything's good. And uh, got a nice clean looking tap, nice and simple. Around here, we're gonna blend it all in, and we're going to make this look absolutely perfect once it's all working. We're going to turn it on. People will uh, see if they can have a little drink. Enjoy the beverage. Yeah, and see if they're brave enough to, that's the main thing. Basically, we need to make sure all the, the insides work because once this front cap goes on, it's going to be one completely sealed unit. Uh, so we need to make sure everything inside works because there's no going back, there's no getting this yeah, off. Definitely not. Once this goes on, well, we're happy with this now. All that works and we've tested it for hours and there's no leaks at all. So all good. Then we're going to fix this on the top and blend it all in and make it look perfect. And then we're going to artwork it up so it looks really, really uh, realistic. Um, and hopefully all's well. So that's the plan so far. How's it gonna look, Aidan? Real and? Organic. Organic, very yeah. nice. On to the pretty stuff now. Here we have Gary. No, I don't mean Gary's, Gary's gonna be working on the pretty stuff. Oh, for God's sake. He's starting on the airbrushing and he's going to be building up in layers to give it a nice fleshy tone. This needs to be bold and the colours really need to pop out, so that this is an eye-catching piece when it's out in the public. Alongside the cactus, we're creating a box container to hold cups for people to fill from the tap, and this will also double up as signage next to the sculpture. We're also creating a duplicate box, made in the same style with the wood looking though it's worn out and distressed, as though it's been out in the desert for a long time, and this is for the waste paper cups as well. We're hand painting True Nopal's logo on, and adding their social media tags, so the sculpture can easily be spread around the net. The plant pot at the bottom we're fixing to a heavy baseboard so the cactus can stand up without needing to be fixed down to the floor. And at the moment, as we're unsure how many times the cactus is going to be used and in how many locations, what we're doing is creating a cradle for the sculpture to lie down on for transportation. Turns out it was used in a few hundred locations apparently over the course of eight weeks over the summer, so it was a good thing we had something nice and comfortable for it to travel around on. There was a little wear and tear which we patched up later down the line, understandable when something's out in the public eye and under public hands, but we never heard of any leaks or anyone's having their eyes poked out, so it was all good news for us. It looked fantastic out on location, and the news spreads fast over sites like Instagram and Twitter, so we were able to grab a few great shots from the net, and a few shots sent to us from our client as well. We'd like to thank Michelle Horn, Shauna Keegan and Claire Ellis from TRO for coming to us with the work, and we look forward to many more projects to come. Oh wait, we haven't had a dance yet. So there we go. Please feel free to leave any comments below as they're always appreciated and hit the subscribe button for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook and follow at Aidan Hines on Twitter and for more of our work visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. See you later y'all, thanks for watching.